viewers thank you for joining us here we want to solve this problem and let's change four year to two raised to power two then raised to power a then minus 36 change to six raised to power two then raised to power b equals to 28 and from here when we apply the laws of indices from here we can interchange what we have there and say this will be a can come inside because when we have a raised to power m raised to power n this will be equal to a raised to power m n which can also be written as a raised to power n multiplied by m so we can switch what we have there and from here we now say we have 2 raised to power a then raised to power 2 then minus 6 raised to power b then raised to power 2 then equals to 28 and again what we have here is in form of x square minus y square which is difference of two squares which can be written as x plus y multiplied by x minus y so when we treat what we have here that way that means our x is standing as you know 2 raised to power a and our y is standing as 6 raised to power b so now we have 2 raised to power a 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b then multiply by 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b then will be equal to 28 so that's what we have after we write it in this form then our 28 we can write it since two numbers multiply and give us 28 when we split 28 we can split it into form of 1 times 28 and we can also split it to 2 times 14 we can also split it to 4 times 7 now let's consider what we have to decide which one we are using there now this value we have which is 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b then we have 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b now clearly from here we have the same numbers 2 raised to power a then 6 raised to power b and the same thing here this side is minus and this side this side is plus rather we have plus here and we have minus here it means that the first value here will be greater than the second value so we have the first bracket greater than the second bracket and also from here this is even raised to power a even number raised to power even number raised to power any number will be even so also when we add two even number we'll be getting even number so everything in this bracket here is expected to be even number then also on this side even number minus even number we expect to get even number so everything in this bracket two is expected to be even number so that means these two numbers has to be even and the first is greater than the second now the first one here when we consider one one is odd that means the condition is not met we can use that this is even even yes we can use this this one is even odd we can use this now that means we are using 2 times 14 and since the first is greater than the second that means our 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b will then be 14 that is the, the, the greater number here then the second one 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b will then be 2 so we have this equation 1 and equation 2 so we can eliminate 6 raised to power b here by adding let's add so that is 2 times 2 raised to power a now this one has gone then equals to 14 plus 2 that's 16 so when we divide through by 2 here we have 2 raised to power a will be equal to 8 then we can also write 8 to as 
2 raised to the power 3. That means 2 raised to the power a equals to 2 raised to the power 3. So from here, we can say that a, since we have the same base, a will be equal to 3. Then since a equals to 3, we can get our b using equation 1 here. So when we use equation 1, putting a equals to 3, so we have equation 1 become 2 raised to the power 3 plus 6 raised to the power b equals to 14. And from there, 2 raised to the power 3, we have 8 plus 6 raised to the power b equals to 14. Take 8 to this side. We have 6 raised to the power b equals to 14 minus 8, which is 6. And we can see that this is 6 raised to the power b, and also this is 6 raised to the power 1. That means our b here now is the same thing as 1. So we got a equals to 3 and uh, b equals to 1. And we can check from what we are given. We can check whether we have the answer that satisfies the equation given. So we are given here 4 raised to the power a and our a is 3. So this will now give us 4 raised to the power 3 minus 36 raised to the power b and b is 1. Will this be equal to 28 as it is said here? Will it be equal to 28? So let's confirm whether it's 28. Now 4 raised to the power 3 is 64 then minus 36. So is it giving us 28? Now when we test it, you subtract and you discover that 64 minus 36 will give us 28 and which is equal to 28. Therefore, the solution are A equals to 3 and B equals to 1. And this is the end of the solution. Now we say thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.